we've been playing croquet since 2004. Um, uh, myself and my two brothers. I got a phone call out of the blue one night. Can we come in and have a game of croquet? See what it's all about. That's where it all started. And free lessons, which we thought was pretty good, so <laughs> we came down and had a hit. They loved it. They didn't even get to bowls. The croquet was was it. They were they were absolutely hooked. Um, and they'd be looking for a game that they could play together. And very early, early on, they were desperate for information. They wanted as much information as they could get. Uh, it's totally different to, to what we thought it'd be, and um, yeah, um, that's what we enjoy about it. We've done our bit. All we've got to do is drive down to the club every, every Tuesday, and our, our um, parental um, our responsibilities are fulfilled. And of course, um, yeah, that came back to, to bite us, didn't it? I'm the silly bugger that taught him to play. And everyone holds that against me. It's a, a year of centenary for Lismore, 2013. Uh, the local hall was 100 years old, the Masonic Lodge been 100 years old, the hotel, the local Presbyterian church is 150 years old. It's sort of like a very competitive town, like with anything, like you, everyone's trying to win something or just have a bit of competition, something, so um, yes, yeah, just a very competitive country town, <laughs> I'd say. Like with anything, like he's, people are always trying to achieve something. I think it stems from our forefathers. Going around the town you'll notice there's uh, tennis courts, cricket grounds, football grounds. It used to be the show grounds. There's golf, golf club, and this, did I mention Stacey Keating? Yeah, I'm not sure what, what it is, maybe it's something in the water, I don't know. But <laughs> <laughs> with our state team, Stephen Forster used to be a member here. Uh, and one year we had uh, like Robin and me and our brother Greg and Stephen playing in, in the, the state, state team. team. So, so the whole state team was... From Lismore. Yeah. So. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, support's been, been amazing. Been ab absolutely uh, um, mm. amazing. And, and when you think of it, you know, the absolute... The population of the area. <laughs> yeah. yeah I know. <laughs> We've always been very competitive. So. Yeah, but it's, it's grown in strength. <laughs> <laughs> Out on the court, they are very competitive. There's no love lost between them. It's friendly, but it's it's fierce on the court. That um, there was a there was a warm up tournament before the Worlds, and um, um, Malcolm beat Robert in a best of three, um, two two games to to nothing, and Robert didn't even get a touch. He didn't even get a touch on the on on the court. I was pretty pleased with that. <laughs> yeah, I I thought I couldn't have his number one. Work world rankings so I thought I'd take it away from him for a little while anyway. <laughs> but, but Malcolm said oh that's alright you'll get your ranking back as long as you don't win any games and you win the Worlds <laughs> and of course he did. I suppose it's like in, in all elite sports the, the mental challenge at the, the top level is um, trying to keep you cool under pressure and um, yeah really enjoy, enjoy that part of it. Every, every day I'm thinking goodness you know how can he beat these people? They're such good players. Well, I sent him an email straight after he won it and I just said, well done. I didn't have to say any more. He sent one back and he said, what's it like to be the coach of the world champion? And I thought that was great. The opportunity to, to meet a world champion doesn't turn up every day. I, I was expecting mostly local people to be, but... Uh, it's, uh, it's very good to see all of you visitors. And Dorothy actually won her five games. Yes. yes. <laughs> but she was disqualified for being late. <laughs> I'd like to congratulate the boys. I'd like to congratulate the people of Lismore. How they've hopped in and got behind us and got us where we are today. No, no one has ever won the world for a very, very long time that wasn't UK based. So even, even the, their former world Champ, the former world champion, the South African uh, Reg Bamford, who's won it for you know many many times, he's he lives in the UK, so the, there was something about beating um, the rest of the world, as it were, in their own backyard. 
very special to um, uh, to, to represent uh, Lismore um, on a world stage. Yeah. It's been a uh, uh, yeah a great triumph for them, and I've take a lot of pride in what they've done. It's been great to see uh, struggling family get to do so well. And croquet has opened the world to them. Croquet's been very, very good to us. Just by sheer chance, we, we have the, um, Stacey's grandparents here. And um, I'll let you guess where they are. <laughs> I just, just... People were very good to us after the accident. and. Um, but, but once you get knocked around like that, you feel, um, you sort of feel a bit gun shy um, that something bad's going to happen. So, you know, every game they're going to lose. You know, you can't watch because they're going to lose. And, and, and then when they, they did win, um, often it was the neighbours who were so excited that we'd won. Oh, sorry, the boys had won. That, that they sort of said, oh, you know, we started to appreciate, oh, these fellas have actually achieved in something. One last question, so what's the next tournament and who's going to win? Uh, it's oh. the World Team Championships, so hopefully uh, we'll both win with Australia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we won't be playing against each other. So. Yeah. <laughs>